Good morning, everyone. This is Mike Romali here with the Hurricane Outlook and discussion for October 11th, 2022, Canal 11 a.m. Eastern Time. We have a lot to talk about this morning, including a new tropical system that is likely to be forming in the Atlantic Basin over the next couple of days. Could we have a Gulf of Mexico tropical cyclone threat? Let's go and jump straight into everything. Taking a wide look across the tropical Atlantic this morning, we noticed that there's only really one system out there worth monitoring right now, and that is a system located in the Gulf of Mexico, more specifically the Bay of Campeche at this moment. And this system is trying to become better organized this morning. So go ahead and take a look here at the zoomed in visible satellite. If you take a look here at the zoomed in visible satellite imagery for Invest Area 93L today, we notice that the system has become a lot better organized today and is generating a decent amount of convection with it this morning and that is leading to surface pressure falls and likely we are getting to the point where a tropical cyclone is getting ready to form at this point. We will have an aircraft reconnaissance mission that will be scheduled to investigate the system today, but it looks like based on satellite and radar observations from Mexico, this is getting pretty organized in a quick fashion. So if we take a look here at what might end up happening with Invest Area 93L, we can look at one of the possibilities here coming off the GFS forecast. This is the 060 run the 150 millibar vorticity with a spin in the atmosphere of 5,000 feet off the ground. This is valid for 2 a.m. this morning, the analysis period. So we'll go ahead and move this forward. And we notice that in the GFS forecast, we do actually end up getting a system that does try to develop here uh, by Friday. Now, of course, development here on this particular model, the model's really kind of playing catch up. So we might end up seeing a system that probably tries to form sooner. And given the observations, I'm more inclined to believe a sooner development. Uh, but we noticed that even on the GFS, nothing really gets going. And one of the reasons for that, if we look at the uh, European Ensemble and the 200 millibar wind, so looking at the upper level wind and for tropical cyclones, we need low wind shear environment. And uh, we notice that we do get that for a little bit. There is a little bit of low wind shear through about Wednesday. Uh, but really after about Wednesday, that shear begins to increase. And we notice that there's just too much shear really to get anything going that's strong out here in the Gulf of Mexico. So I'm not really worried about this particular system, although it definitely could bring some rain to portions of Mexico. But other than that, it doesn't really seem like that much of a serious concern at this given point. But of course, it is still worth monitoring because it is still the hurricane season and there is still a disturbance that will bring sensible impacts to portions of Mexico over the next couple of days. So when we talk about who's at risk here from Invest Area 93L, there's a couple of important things to note here. First of all, again, the storm is going to be a very slow moving system. It's not expected to move much over the next couple of days. And any movement that it's going to do is going to be very minimal because there's going to be a cold front coming in from the north that will likely pick the system up. Uh, but the places most at risk here would be Tampico, Mexico, uh, over towards uh, Poza Rica, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, uh, Poza Rica. Um, those areas are most at risk from this potential system at maybe the threat for a direct landfall of some type of system, depression or storm. I don't really think this gets any stronger than a tropical storm, than kind of a, a mid-range tropical storm. Of course, the Bay of Campeche is very known to spin up tropical cyclones, a uh, very quick pace. But again, I don't really see this being any major threat over the next couple of days. Um, but again, for those folks down there in portions of coastal Mexico, of course, Poza Rica, Tampico, Mexico, uh, and places there along the coast, all the way up to, you know, Brownsville, Texas, even, uh, if you're, mon you know, just continue to monitor the progress of this system, but certainly no real threat, at least for now, over the next couple of days. So with that being said, I do hope you have a good rest of your afternoon and evening. Of course, I am Michael Romali, and I'll talk to you guys again some more tomorrow.